So we're going to do a cotton fluffing class on Pulse 22 by Vandy Vapes with help from Tony B. Tony's got some pretty cool products out. You should check him out. His YouTube channel as well. I'm sure you know who he is. But I um, want to do this because I see people fluffing their cotton, uh, as you should, um, and I'm always dis often disappointed. Um, I say it all the time, technique is everything. Um, I see people just straight up combing out. Um, and when I do mine, I'm trying to air it out as much as possible. And what I'll do is I'll get a pair of needle nose pliers. I like the bent kind, but whatever we'll do and stick it in. And what I'm doing is I'm aiming for wherever I see dense white cotton. Just put it in and let it put, come apart to spread the cotton apart as much as possible. Now when you do this, you will find there will be places that will be independent of the flow of the strands of cotton. Um, and when one starts to come up, I'll point it out. And I'm doing this without a cameraman. My phone is just propped up on a piece of metal hanging from my bar. So, uh, not the greatest camera work, but I'll do what I can. So, that was a little piece, piece right there that came apart. And you're going to have a bunch that's done like that. And when I get this fluff, I'll find a place I want to keep it and just pull away. And there'll be plenty more of that. Pull away. Get off me. But, um, and there's another spot right there. I especially want to get right up by the coil because that's where the juice needs to get to. Then I have it fluffed as much as I want. Pull away the uh, extras. A little bit anyway. And I keep that fluffy stuff for uh, other things. It comes in handy. Um, so I've got a pile of it. So then I will take and go over, under, side to side, back and forth. Get it to all come out about right. And then, this isn't my final cut, I'm just getting the fluffies off. So that's that side. Then, as I do this other side, as I do the other side, I will take and put my finger right there to hold that side in. And that's the side I twisted to go through, so I'm going to cut that off. And then start the same thing. And I use my, uh, on this situation here, I'll use my thumbnail to go into so I have a hard surface to get hit. And the only reason I hold it down is so I don't pull it through. It's where I want it to be right now. I want this one to stay in the same place. More of the same. Bunch of fluff. I should look at the camera and see what's on camera, huh? Alright. Over, under, side to side. Squishy, squishy. First cut. Fluffy. And that's the pile of extra fluff I'm adding it to. Got to plenty. Alright, so now let's talk about how we're going to set this cotton. So remember, this cotton is going to go down and under. So this edge of cotton here is only going to write in this corner. 
However, this edge of cotton is going all the way to here. So this side does need to be longer than this side. So I'm going to cut it at an angle. And I like to leave enough extra so that I can have a bunched up wad of cotton right at the end of each side of the coil. I think I cut that a little short. So pull that like that. A little better. And then cut the other side the exact same. And the other thing I like about these uh, bent is because it makes it so that I can take and put my wick in exactly where I want it. I if I can get it right. I'm on, on camera. That's how it goes from what I hear. So, uh, get this right. Where you want it to be, let loose, hold it with your finger and pull out, and then pull the last of it. Tuck that in. A little tucky tucky. Clean up the underside. And then the same thing on this side. Practice makes perfect. That's much better. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, that's gonna hit low. So nice. Uh, if I remember right, this is uh, hitting at 0.4 ohms, and this is. Um, Four pieces of square stainless steel that was first twisted and then all four pieces twisted together and then that twist twisted with one piece of stainless steel ribbon. And it is six wraps at 2.5 millimeter. Make sure the uh, squonk hole is clear of cotton. And the, one of the things I love about the uh, Tony B Pulse 22 is um, perfect method for squonking is when the uh, top is on, you hit your squonk, get the juice up in the top, and as you let go, you tilt forward and back, and on one of those tilts, air will come back through because you've swooshed the juice up onto your cotton and what remains will soak into your cotton uh, as you hit your next vape and it's oh so delicious. So Tony B if you happen to uh, see this I appreciate your hard work on this. You did a lovely job. I'm looking forward to getting the Pulse 24 that is on the way. So uh, I was thinking I'm supposed to say something about like and subscribe and uh, check me out Instagram, uh, all those other places. Uh, I'm there.